this is Mr. Smith and we are going to make an animated title to start a series of videos that I've been working on. Now to begin I'm going to find an image that I can use. I've gone to openclipart.org where everything here is soon to be public domain. Uh, there are exceptions to this. If you find a picture of Spongebob or Mickey Mouse somebody uploaded something that they didn't have the rights to upload. But most of the stuff on here is public domain so you can use it. I found this image of a falcon and the video series that I'm working on happens to be centered around the class I teach at my school and my school's mascot is the blue falcon. So I figured, hey, that's something we can use. So I went and downloaded it. Now if you click the download button, that will give you an image that you can edit in Inkscape and then export as a PNG file. That's very useful if you want to make some heavy modifications to the image, changing text, changing colors, things like that. Very useful. Otherwise, I would click with this big image. The more pixels, the better. You can always shrink things down, but making things larger usually looks pretty bad. Now, I clicked on big image. I decided I was going to edit this in GIMP instead of Inkscape. I've already done that. I colorized it, and I've already exported this by going to File and picking Overwrite, and I just saved over top of the saved version that I had previously. How you edit your imagery really depends on what you want out of it. Just make sure it's an image that you're allowed to use and try to limit it to like one image. It is very easy to make a title be too cluttered and you don't want to go there. Okay, so now we are ready to mess with video editing. And we're going to start off by clicking new and we're going to add a plane. A plane would basically be a solid color in this case. So this is just going to be my green screen background. I already selected the green color when I was trying this out before. But you can pick whatever color you want. If you're going to be chroma keying this, which I highly recommend, pick a nice bright green or a nice bright blue. I go with green because you see that less often in imagery that you'd actually want to use. Okay, and I can give this a name if I don't want to get distracted and confused. But I'm not going to because I'm not going to have a whole lot of options over here anyway. So let's click OK. And now I can drag this in here and I have a really bright green. Now let's adjust my scale. I want my title to be no longer than 5 seconds. And 5 seconds is actually going to be pretty long. I might actually want to make that shorter. So let's go right to 5. And yep, I, I have that the right size already. I don't need to worry about that. That's good. If this is too long, I could trim it off. Now, let's import downloads. There's my blue falcon. We can drag this in here as well. I could resize this if I wanted to. And if it was too long, I could click on the file I want to trim. Press Control shift d if my playhead is at the right spot. And it splits it right at the playhead, so I've got the five-second clip, and I've got this extra stuff. I can get rid of that. Now this is way too large. It's filling my screen and then some. Maybe I want that. Maybe I want it to be smaller. Fast way to make it smaller, right click on the clip, go to transform, and have it fit. Now this is really tall, not very wide, so I picked fit to frame height. I could resize this some more if I wanted to. Actually I do. Let's have this be just a little bit shorter than everything. And move that over there. Okay, now I'm ready to add my text. Now I could have pre-made my text in GIMP or Inkscape, but I've decided to make it in my video editor of choice. To do that, we are going to click New. We're going to make a composite shot. And I could add my title here. I'm not going to. Duration, I'm going to trim that up later. The width and height are the same as the actual video that I'm editing. Click OK. And here's our new composite shot. We're only going to add one thing to this. New layer, we're going to add text. This we're going to mess with though. 1280 by 720. OK. Now let's add our text in. And while it's not a requirement, it's a good failsafe to make sure that your title is in all capital letters. That's usually accepted when you're doing video. Language arts teachers might take issue if you have your titles of reports written that way, but in video it's perfectly fine. Now this needs to be edited up a bit. 
that looks horrible like it is. I don't like to go with default fonts. I don't like to go with default colors. So we can change this up. I'm going to change this to another font that I enjoy. Not that one. That one's okay. We're going to change the size to make it larger. And I kind of want to have some room underneath here so that when I'm using this in future videos, I have space to add the episode title to go with the series title. But that's something that I'd be doing on a per episode basis. It's not going to be in my stock animated title that I'm creating. Now, I don't want this to be a plain white set of text either. I think I want it to be the same color as my falcon over here. So I am going to select this. I'm going to use my eyedropper here and I'm going to click and drag and as you can see the color of this text is changing based on whatever my cursor is over top of. I want this blue. There we go. That'll work. But I don't want that to be just by itself. We are going to add a border around everything. That's this color here. We're going to change that to white because this is a dark blue, so I want a white border. If it was a light color here, I'd want a dark border. And let's set the border to, what does 10 look like on here? That'll work. You know, 5 would work too, half that size, but this thick is going to be more visible on smaller screens as well. So that's useful. And let's drag this over just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Your results may vary. Move it up. Uh, no, let's, let's, let's leave it where it was. Okay, now let's go back to our media here. And we have our new composite shot right here. We're going to drag this right in on top of everything. There we go. And this is far too long. So we are going to move our playhead to the five second mark. You know what, ideally, maybe this should be two or three seconds long. Five seconds is kind of long for one of these. Let's control shift D. Get rid of that extra stuff. And now we're ready to animate. Now my go-to, the simplest, easiest way to add animations is to go into effects and start messing with transitions. Scroll down to transitions, video. And if we're looking at these, because we're going to later on be chroma keying out this background to have this stuff be transparent on top of another video, I highly recommend avoiding fade transitions. You might think they look great, and they do in a video when you're editing them, but it doesn't work so well if you're planning on taking what you've created and then chroma keying it later. So that's not so hot. Actually, as I'm looking at this, let's move this over a bit more and move my falcon over a bit more. That looks a little bit better for me. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with motion. I'm going to have things sliding in and out of frame. So we are going to have my text slide in. And we're going to change the direction of that. I want it sliding in from, let's have it slide in from above. Let's see how it looks sliding straight down. So if I rewind the beginning, there we go. That's coming down for the falcon. I want that to slide as well. But for the falcon, I'm going to go slightly different because if you look, the falcon's angled. So I kind of want my falcon to be sliding in kind of like it's flying and I'm sort of just going to eyeball this to see if I can get the angle to be the same. Yeah, I like that. And of course you don't have to do anything with the chroma key background yet. Now on the way out, we don't have to use the exact same transition. Using the same transition for everything can really help to build a sense of unity. But in this case, I'm going to have these things zoom around instead. So we are going to throw a zoom in here and see how that looks. Decide if we want it or not. You know what? I don't like that. So we're going to click on zoom and we're going to delete it because editing effects is just that easy. 
So, no, we're not going to do them. Let's do slide again. Let's do a slide in for both of these. And for this one, for our text, have it slide out. And we're going to have it keep going the way it was going. So it slid down before, now it's going to slide down again. And we're going to do the same thing for the falcon. It's going to slide out. And it's going to slide up and out, so it's going to keep on flying. So, if we did this right, what's going to happen is, They fly in, we pause, they fly out. Now, if I had the same opening jingle that I wanted to use in every single video, I would probably be adding that in as well at this point. But for this particular series, I've decided I'm going to have different music at different times, so I am not going to include any audio for this. You can if you want to. I've used it before for other projects. I'm not going to do that for this one. So now all I've got to do is export this, click on export, go to MP4, don't need to change any of these settings, go ahead and click export again, give this an exported name, I'm going to name it Media Arts Title, hit save, and it's just that easy. Because it's only five seconds long, it went really fast. Okay, so now what we can do, let's make a new video, and now we are going to import and not the Falcon, we've already done that. We are instead going to import our Media Arts title and we're going to import in a video I recorded earlier. And you'll notice how this is so much smaller. I exported this at 1280 by 720. This video is a much larger format. I can adjust this. It's not going to be the best in the world, but transform, pick the frame. There we go. It's covering up everything. That looks horrible. Let's go to effects and type in key. Check it out. We got a green screen key. We can just drag this right over on top of this clip. And now the green has been edited out entirely. Now, if I hit play, I have an animated title that I can have appear in each Media Arts News video that I create. And I could even use that same font for my subtitle here. I've already shown how to add text, but I could do that same thing and have the text just be along the bottom here. And I could have that fade in or out or fly in and out like I had everything else fly in and out. And that would look much nicer. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, now that you know how, go do it.